What's going on everyone? So I'm going to tell you guys how I got big arms by doing calisthenics. So again, calisthenics is doing stuff with your body weight. You can develop big arms just using your body weight guys. Even though uh, what I did on top of that was uh, I did use some weighted exercises uh, as well. So the way to get the big arms using calisthenics, again, for the people at home who really don't have access to weights, um, you just can't afford it, so all you can do is go to the park. The best way to get the big biceps, the big triceps, is to do your dog curl. Curl your dog every single day, you guys. Every day. Just kidding. But seriously. Oh, wait, there you go. Uh, seriously, though, pull-ups, chin-ups, and dips are going to be your best friend. I can't stress this enough. If I had to pick one exercise to give me the best tricep growth, the best overall tricep growth, hands down it would be the dip. I've been doing dips probably for seven and a half, seven years. Uh, Pull-ups and chin-ups again, probably seven years. My back development is insane. My tricep development is insane. Uh, my biceps are probably one of my best muscle group out of everything throughout my whole body. I, get, I give all the credit to those movements, you guys. So the basic movements are the best movements because they're compound movements, you guys. Nothing fancy about doing a dip. Nothing fancy about doing a chin-up, you guys. They're hard movements. They're not like doing a bicep curl. They're not like doing... Um, an overhead extension, a skull crusher, they're not fancy, they don't look cool, but the compound movement, you're using a ton of different muscle groups, uh, you're gonna see a ton of growth. Not just in your biceps, uh, by doing chin ups, you're gonna see your whole back area is gonna be developed. And trust me, getting a developed back, not only do you look fucking insane with your shirt off, but your overall strength doing any kind of back movement is going to be superior. It's going to be insane. And this is going to lead to better gains, you guys. So, and it looks alpha, you guys. Having a big, wide back and a narrow uh, waist really gives you that overall aesthetic look that you're trying to go for. So, there's not much more to it than that, you guys. Train the dip. Train the chin-ups. Mix it up. Do pull-ups. Um, so what's a sample workout that you could do for someone at home who doesn't have anything, or again, someone who trains at the gym, they have access to all this equipment, what would you do? If it was me, I would train dips Monday, Wednesday, Friday, do chin-ups or pull-ups Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. That's right, training your arms six times a week. You can actually train them seven times a week if you want to. Just give the opposite muscle group a day off, you guys. So Monday you train dips, Tuesday don't train dips, train pull-ups, train chin-ups, you guys will get some insane arm development, you guys, guaranteed. Um, and again, uh, if you do find success using dips, chin-ups, you will find the best success doing those uh, movements two, three times a week. That's going to spur the, the best growth, if you will. Don't do it just once a week. Twice to three times a week really gets the gains. And just don't do these movements for a year, two years straight. Mix it up, you guys. So do Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, do pull-ups. Um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, do your dips. Uh, do that for a month or two. After that, do chin-ups. Instead of doing dips, do close grip bench press. Switch it up. Don't do the exact same thing every single time. As for rep ranges, sets, what I like to do is I like to do periodization, you guys, which you guys should be doing if you're not a beginner, beginner anymore, if you haven't been training um, if you have been training longer than six months, you're probably not a beginner anymore. So what I would do for the reps, the sets, sets, week one, start off doing two sets. That's it. Week two, do three sets. Week three, four sets. Week four, five sets. Uh, week five, deload, do a set, then continue that progression. Rep ranges, again, don't do the exact same rep ranges Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So if you're training dips Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Monday, do 10 repetitions. Wednesday, do five repetitions. Friday, do 15 to 20 rep ranges. You're switching up your rep ranges. Uh, you're doing, uh, you're having conjugation throughout the week. That's what you want. That's proper programming. That's good programming. Your gains will keep coming. You won't plateau, you guys. 
So end of video, hope you guys did enjoy. Hopefully you guys picked up a few tips, if you will. Uh, if you have any questions below, comment below, I will answer them. Tap the subscribe button if you haven't already. Peace.